Recently, I've been looking into the work of Maurice Cotterell, thanks to a tip from uh, uh, Analog, who is over in the Tartree Discord server. So thank you for that. And what I wanted to, to show today, uh, following that information, was how <clears throat> um, I noticed today with the uh, Shewin resonance that there was a bar. And what I've been noticing recently with the Shewin resonance is, is these kind of multi coloured striped bars going down here. And so, what I wanted, wanted to do was see what happens if I was to cut a section out and duplicated it, flipped it over, and overlaid it. There you go. So after... This is what the... Uh, this is the strip that I cut from the Schumann Resonant Graph. And then I flipped, copied it, flipped it over, and put it together like that. And then... I used these various blending options through Photoshop to change, to see you know, the different effects. there but I'm noticing and the thing that I notice the most was when I tried this and it looks like it says axis does that say axis there by any chance, A or AI, AI, who knows, it definitely feels like there's a, it's that mirror as above so below type of thing going on, it's very interesting isn't it, can I get these uh, faces? Feel like that they're uh, <clears throat> indicating something or other. His face is all over. It's crazy, isn't it? So, just taking this little strip and using a similar technique to Cotterill, um, I've noticed these little things here. And this is through the Schumann Resonance Graph. Now what interests me about this so much as well is how it has application through my work with cloud therapy and the way that I believe I'm seeing all these different faces. And you know, I think I'm going to be going into a video at a later date about pareidolia. I think it's about time we have a little discussion about it <clears throat> because um, in my opinion it seems that it was a I don't know this just seems to be a drive when it comes to di psychological categorization to deny any meaning in the things that people experience as if to say that you know what you're seeing is just an illusion or whatever it has no meaning um, I think that's just as dangerous as allowing people um, to believe in things blindly as well. So <clears throat> I think the idea of the pareidolia is basically to make people doubt 
um, the phenomena they're experiencing and to not think twice about it. Um, but in my opinion, I think seeing faces uh, in things is actually a very significant, uh, important, and uh, I think we need to think about the significance of these uh, of these glyphs of not this maybe not these specific ones, but the fact that through these techniques we can start to see patterns and, and shapes, things that are, are embedded and encoded in everything around us. EA, we can see numbers, letters, faces, all kinds of things going on here. And this is all within a human resonance graph, or at least a very small strip. And it makes me consider that, you know, and this is one of the things I've noticed as well with the uh, things that look like Morse code, that kind of thing, that there's somehow data and information embedded within these graphs or yeah, so it's very interesting. I mean, to me, this shape looks like uh, it could be um, it could be an envelope for a message. It could be. It looks like it's got a winged, got wings and, and feet as well. But then it also looks like it's got eyes. Um, then you've also got. This, this here, which almost looks like it's an equation as well, or and a word, axis, or a circuit, maybe. It's just a lot here that could be um, could be looked into here. That, that's what interests me, the fact that these things seem to be embedded everywhere. So I'm going to continue looking into this stuff and uh, looking for it in lots of different areas. I'll probably see if there's any other, um, any more codes that come up within the Schumann Resonance. Um, but it's, it's quite exciting thing to try. You know, I just put the two together and thought maybe I should try overlaying it. It just came into my head. So anyway, I'll leave it there and uh, yeah, think about lots of other personal and creative things going on for me at the moment. Um, and yeah, I've just uh, <clears throat> Mercury retrograde, so it's a good time to. Uh, Take it easy, reflect, review if you can. Um, no new agreements or contracts. Um, yeah, keep the traveling to a minimum, maybe. Or give yourself extra time. Uh, and that's what I need at the moment. So in that time, I am just doing the research, just looking into, um, delving deep into astrology and uh, continuing to follow all the leads, especially if they come at me via synchronous and connections, which is, seems to be the way it is for me. Um, so there we go. Thank you for watching and um, I'll see you again soon.